In the first part of question D, we have to find the x-coordinate of the point where L intersects the line y equals x. Question part C, will they show that question? And from there we have that the equation of L is y equals to negative x plus 2 ln 45 plus 2. Since we are looking for the x-coordinate of the intersection of this line and the line y equals x, we can simply set the expressions for the two lines equal to each other and then solve for x. Therefore, we'll write that x is equal to negative x plus 2 ln 45 plus 2. Adding x to both sides, we get that 2x is equal to 2 ln 45 plus 2. And dividing by 2 gives us that x is ln 45 plus 1. In the second part of this question, we have to find the area of A. To do so, I will divide this area into two parts like this. I will shade one of these areas light blue and the other area purple. I've done this because we'll find these areas separately and then add them to get the total area of A. Let's begin by finding the light blue area. To find areas between graphs, we can use definite integrals. Let's see how to set up this integral. The lower bound of the integral is the x-coordinate of this intersection point. We just found that this x-coordinate is ln 45 plus 1. The upper limit of this area, so of the integral, is the x-coordinate of point P, and from our answer to question part A, this is 5.57. Typing ln 45 plus 1 into our calculator and pressing enter, we get that it is equal to approximately 4.81. Now we could write ln 45 plus 1 as a lower limit of our integral, but it is a bit too long, so here I will simply use 4.81. The upper limit, as we said, is 5.57. The area that we are looking for is bounded by two graphs. The upper bound of the area is the line y equals x, and the lower bound is the line l. To complete our definite integral, we'll subtract the lower bound from the upper bound, so we'll write x, the upper bound, minus the lower bound, so the equation of l, which is negative x plus 2 ln 45 plus 2. We write the x at the end to complete our integral. This integral represents the light blue area. To this, we have to add an integral that represents the purple area. The lower bound of our integral here is the x-coordinate of p, so 5.57, while the upper bound is the x-coordinate of q, which, in question part b, we found to be 2 ln 45 plus 2. Typing 2 ln 45 plus 2 into our calculator and pressing enter, we get 7.61. This is the upper limit or upper bound of our integral. When completing this integral, we once again have to subtract the lower bound from the upper bound, and the lower bound here is L, while the upper bound is F. So we can write F, so 90 e to the power of negative 0.5x minus a lower bound, so negative x plus 2 ln 45 plus 2. We'll close the parentheses and write the x at the end. This reminds me that we also have to close the second parenthesis up here. All we have to do now is to find the sum of these two integrals, which gives us the area of a. Of course, these are complicated integrals, but since this is a paper 2 question, we can just use our calculator. We'll start by pressing math, and then choosing number 9, which gives us a definite integral. We'll start by entering the limits of integration for our first integral, so 4.81 and 5.57. Then we'll enter what we see inside the integral. Note that we already have a set of brackets here, so I will start with x minus brackets negative x plus 2 ln 45. And here we need to be careful because when you press ln, 
a bracket or parenthesis is automatically opened after ln. Since we only want the 45 to be inside the ln, we'll close the parenthesis here. Now we can add 2 and then scroll to the end of our integral to complete the x. To this we'll add the second integral, so we'll once again press math and 9. Here the lower limit is 5.57 and the upper limit is 7.61. Inside the integral we have 90 and since e here is to a power, I will press second and ln. In this power or exponent we have negative 0.5x. Then we'll come out of the power, press minus, open a bracket and enter negative x plus 2 ln 45, once again paying attention to closing the brackets and then finally adding 2. Before we complete our dx we have to close another bracket here, which just reminded me that we forgot to close the same bracket after the 2 in our first integral. Let me scroll back and close this bracket now. So I'm in the first integral closing the bracket after 2. Finally I will scroll back to the end of the second integral and complete the x. Finally we'll press enter and if we've entered everything correctly we get about 1.52 for the area of A. Let's see an exam taking tip that can help you save time on similar questions. It is that when you are finding the value of a definite integral on a paper to question, write down the integral as part of your answer and then simply find its value using your calculator. You are not expected to show details of your integration and simply writing out the integrals as we have done here counts as showing your work.